Hello everyone, welcome to this presentation. I am Sharmila from SNDT Women's University. Through this video lecture, I will teach you how to solve a system of linear equation using matrix. For that, students should have the knowledge of different types of matrices, algebra of matrices, means how to add, subtract and multiply, rank of a matrix and elementary transformation. In elementary transformation, we will be using only Gaussian elimination that is row transformations. After watching the three videos, students will be able to understand how to write a system of linear algebraic equations in the matrix equation form to identify homogeneous and non-homogeneous equations students will be able to identify also the, whether the system of equation is consistent or not they will be able to understand when the system of equation has unique or multiple solutions they will be able to use Gaussian elimination method to find consistency Students will be able to solve large system of algebraic linear equations using matrix equations. They will be able to model and solve real world problems. Also, they develop analytical ability to apply these concepts in the real world problems. Okay. Let us see what is rank. The, the rank which we are seeing now we might we will not use but this is for just understanding what rank is. By performing sequence of elementary transformation you can even have row as well as column transformation to convert a matrix in this form. When you perform these operations any non-zero matrix will be you will be able to convert in any of these four forms where this i stands unit matrix r is the order where this r is called rank of the matrix for example this has rank 2 rank 3 this has rank 3 again and here also rank 3 here this is i3 the 0 this is i3 and 0 row matrix this is i3 now here we have i2 and 0 matrix 0 matrix, 0 matrix. Now this is the second definition of rank of the matrix. This is what we are going to use to find consistency of the simultaneous equations. A matrix that has undergone Gaussian elimination that is row transformation is said to be in a row echelon form if all the zero rows are at the bottom of the matrix. The leading entry in any non-zero row is 1. And all entries in the column below the leading entry should be 1. Then it is said to be in row echelon form. Now if you can convert in row echelon form by using Gaussian elimination, the number of non-zero rows is called rank of the matrix. See by using Gaussian elimination if rank is 2 it will get converted to this form. This is just an example these are all these can be any elements. So here but you can see elements below 1 0 all 0 elements are at the bottom same here leading elements 1 below 0 bottom again 0 same way this one rank 2 rank 3 and here again you can see it is non-zero rows it's rank 2 now system of linear equations it is the general form a11 x1 a12 x2 a1 and xn it is connected with the positive side equal to b1 similarly second equation now last equation am1x1 plus 
am 2 x 2 plus am 3 x 3 plus etc. am and xn equal to b where x1 x2 etc xn are all unknown or variables these are all constants this we will be able to write as a matrix equation a x equal to b where a is called coefficient matrix x is called column matrix b is called column matrix of constant this is column matrix of unknown this is a a is coefficient matrix x is x x1 x2 etc xn and this is constant now when we join this matrix to this matrix b to a the resulting matrix a b is called augmented matrix which is very important there are two types of linear equation one is homogeneous other one is non-homogeneous in the matrix equation ax equal to b which you have seen now if b is zero the system is said to be homogeneous if b is non-zero the system is said to be non-homogeneous for example you look at this instead of x1 x2 x3 i have used x y z look at this all are zeros here again zeros so these two are homogeneous equation now this is again this is non-zero this is non-zero so third and fourth set is non-homogeneous equations now consistency when can we say system is consistent if it has a solution it is said to be consistent if it doesn't have a solution it is said to be inconsistent we have an important theorem which says if the matrix a and augmented matrix a b have the same rank then the system of equation is consistent now i'll tell you what how we explain this is in general ax equal to b when b is zero it is homogeneous non-zero it is non-homogeneous in homogeneous we can have two cases either it is it has a unique solution or it has an infinite solution which will be if r equal to n or r less than n respectively and this has three cases if rank of a b is more than number of unknown the solution will not exist this in detail we will see when we do sums r equal to n means unique solution and when r less than n it has infinite solution where r stands number of r is rank of the matrix and n is number of unknowns in homogeneous equation we all know when we put x1 x2 x3 as zeros the system automatically comes zero so it is always a solution this solution is called a trivial solution or unique solution this happens only if r equal to n and if r less than n as i told you earlier it will have infinite solution in both homogeneous and non-homogeneous system m m is number of equations m is less than n one thing we can certainly tell it will never have a unique non-trivial solution right thank you the rest of the things we'll see in the next video.